Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Kerry Hurt. And we are from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada. This is the fourth quarter real estate market update for Old Southwest Reno. If you're new to our videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. We do put out new content and a lot of it every month. Also, if you are a homeowner thinking of selling as a for sale by owner, Stick around to the end of this video. We have a very special offer just for you. And if you're a buyer considering buying in this area, we've got another offer just for you. So let's dive right in. Here we are inside Market Insights looking back at the activity from October through December of 2018, the fourth quarter of course, for Old Southwest. We are going to look at single family homes and condos because they're a small percentage of the market but we want to give the big snapshot. So Kerry, take it away. Thanks Philip. 47 units sold across the fourth quarter of 2018, 14 in October, 16 in November, 17 in December, a nice steady incline. Condos aren't as prevalent in this part of Reno as they are in, in say, downtown or even south Reno. Median sold price peaked in October at 520000 and leveled off to 409000 by the end of the year, which is a good 8% above the Reno median of 380000 showing how valuable this area is. Percent of asked received dipped from 98.9% .9 down to 97.7% which is common as sellers take concessions at the end of the year. Don't be worried by the steep blue line. With only six condos sold in two months, the data will be a bit skewed. And Carrie, isn't one of the condos that sold one of yours? Yes, it was. I purchased one in River Run and it's a beautiful property, Philip. Way to contribute to the data. <laughs> Thanks, Philip. Days on market typically increases through the holidays as not many people like to pack up and move around the end of the year. The month's supply of inventory fell to two and a half months at the end of the year, showing that it's still a seller's market. Again, don't be swayed by that steep blue line on the condos. There's still less than two dozen on the market and they don't tend to move very quickly. We are on our website, crenohomesforsale.com, and our featured property of the day is 1220 Fairfield in Cary's Old Southwest. Cary, tell us about, the, about this uh, very woody property. So this isn't one of those older houses like we've spoken about in the, the past. It's at 624,900. It's a five bedroom, three bath, 3,278 square feet. It's built in 1949 and it's sold by the original owner's estate. So you can see they have the original hardwood floors in this beautiful old Southwest house. Bright windows and a large open kitchen for this era of a house. That is the longest kitchen counter I think I've ever seen. That's what I was thinking, Philip. <laughs> they still have some of the original paneling and the original flooring within this house, but it's a super clean house. Looks like they've got a bit of a loft up here. Yeah, a beautiful loft with a lot of cool little built-ins like back from the 1940s. Wow, there are just hiding spaces after hiding spaces here. Yeah, it's kind of like the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Now look at this beautiful, expansive backyard. You have lots of green space, lots of trees. You can tell it's in the older, mature part of Reno. It comes with uh, mature fruit trees on just under a quarter of an acre. And that's a beautiful piece of land here in that area. So that is your fourth quarter look back at the real estate market activity in Old Southwest Reno. Now, Carrie, Reno sparks one big happy community and you're very involved in that community. Tell us about the big fundraiser you're working on coming up in April. Correct, Philip. It's called Kids on Big Rigs. And it's uh, near and dear to my heart because my daughter went to school at High Desert Montessori School. They've been doing it for six years. What you'll find there on April 27th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. are fire trucks, garbage trucks, police cars, helicopters, even a cow, not a real cow that you can learn to milk. And the kids can go crawl over all of this stuff. That's correct, Philip. The school is also collecting canned goods for the Nevada Food Bank, which helps struggling families around northern Nevada bring a can and save a dollar on admission. So Kids on Big Rigs sounds like a great event and a great cause, and I'm, I'm proud that you're a part of that, Carrie. I'm looking forward to it, Philip. Me too, me too. Well, as promised, if you stuck around to the end of the video, we have a special offer for you uh, if you're a homeowner looking to sell or a buyer looking to buy. So let's start with the sellers. Carrie, 
I'm a homeowner. I'm okay. thinking of selling my property as a for sale by owner. What can the Nevada Real Estate Group do for me? First, I can send you a comparative market analysis to see where your home sits on the current market and how we can price it right. We can also offer you the zero commission plan. We can help sell your home and you may not even have to pay us anything. But in order to do that, you have to schedule an appointment with me. And if you're looking to buy in Northern Nevada, there are definitely some huge benefits working with the Nevada Real Estate Group. When you buy a home in Nevada through us, we pay for a home warranty up to a $495 value. What this covers is things on the electrical, plumbing, heat and air condition, and some appliances. Well, for more information about the programs that we've discussed, or if you've got questions about the uh, real estate numbers that Carrie and I went over, you can contact Carrie. His information is in the YouTube description below, or feel free to post your questions and comments right here on this YouTube page. For Carrie Hurt and the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada, I'm Philip Goodman. We'll see you next time.